in history is just down around the north inner city. I started to record the history of this area in 1970. Corporation Buildings uh, was a big, massive tenement block. It housed 303, 380 families in it, which was off then a street called Corporation Street. The street today is renamed James Joy Street. And we've done hundreds of interviews of people's memories. The voices of women living in the tenements, the voices of men walking on the docks. So it has everything from red lights and revolution. It's such a small part of the city and it has a hidden history. Wow, uh, I cried a little bit, wiped my tears before and you could see. It's just amazing, like Neil is just an absolute magician. We just have a good chat. It was fun, you know, sharing and she was able to take in you know, everything I said and performed magic. The Local Heroes Project, it's really all about celebrating those people in our communities and our neighbourhoods all around Dublin who go above and beyond for the community. They don't do it for the glory, they don't do it for the recognition, they do it because they see a need and they seek to address it. And what they do makes such a big difference. So we have seven artists working in different mediums and each of those artists have three heroes that we're working with. And the heroes and artists met, got to know each other a bit, tried to understand their world and their work and their passions. And we had 21 portraits as a result. I'm passionate about people on the margins. People that don't fit the system. People have to feel included in a community. They have to feel valued. I love to learn about people. I want to understand them. I want to, you know, see what can we do together? How can we make our community better? How can we use our strengths to do more? I just enjoy being with children. I enjoy having that special time with them when they just give you 100% attention and it's just fabulous and they, and they are so in the moment. You get drawn in as well because they're living and breathing every single solitary word you say, therefore you're in the moment too and it's just a very special time in somebody's life. As a teacher you have to always be aware that potential is there for everybody like you know and just to encourage people all the time when you come in every day you have to be positive. You have to be attentive, you have to be active. Food and connecting people is very, very important. It breaks a lot of barriers. You can't even understand each other, but food can actually connect you. Even, even expressions can talk about food, so food is powerful. It's the feeling you get from a young person saying to you, pass me junior cert, thanks for all that help. Or, you know, I was going through a bit of a rough time with mental health and you showed me where to go and where to get help. And it's those little things, it's the little victories you get through youth work. It wasn't, it wasn't aware there was such a strong community here. And it's only a small building. You get a sense of how broad it is, how many people's lives it touches. You know, whatever else is going on in Dublin, um, good and bad, that there's people just plugging away, doing their own thing. And, and they are literally unsung heroes and, and they're making an incredible contribution to the city. You can see the, the love that's just the people have for it, the kind of devotion that people have for it. You don't, you don't get that by accident. I just love the idea that you have people who are so passionate about bringing people and communities together and they're not just talking about it, they're actually going out there and doing something about it. It gives you hope um, just to see that there is people taking so much initiative and so, such young people as well. So it makes me feel very uh, optimistic. Like I feel heard, I feel seen, I feel appreciated, I feel valued. And I don't know who you're going to value and appreciate that wouldn't want to give their best in all that they do. So it means a lot. It's just amazing. So it, it, it is good. I, I love it, the experience. <laughs> Can't wait to go home and show them. You smell everybody at home. Like, you know, it's uh, brilliant it is. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh. It's beautiful. And this is history. And um, I'm really, I'm really honoured.